Hey guys, you know I'm a big Archonix, being independent, doing things myself. And you might be thinking that doing stuff on the cloud is kind of contrary to my, I don't know, identity or something like that. But all in all, my motivation is to get stuff out there. And I thought to myself, people just might not know how to do this. So I, I'm going to run through how to set up a web application at home on your machine. And then I'm going to show how you do it in serverless. And I'm just going to talk you through it. And by the end of the video, you can make up your mind, you know. So let's begin. First off, we need an IP. It can be a local IP. Um, and um, I've got a machine at 192.16.15. It's static. The important thing, it doesn't change. And I'm going to choose the port 8080 to, to run it on. And let's quickly write it. Uh, let's go hello world in Go. Ooh, what's it doing? Package. I'm using Copilot, by the way. I'm sorry. I'm, uh, I don't know, lazy. Server in Go. Yeah, sorry. Just shows you how good I am at coding, right? I, th I thought I just had to put this one at the end. I should make it do its thing. Come on. Do your thing. Yeah, perfect. See, I kind of knew, knew it was going to work as I did it before. So there we go. We've got Hello World running there. And let me go back to this thing. Right. Hello World. Well, let's make it a little bit, you know, spicy. Hello YouTube. Something like that. Why is it doing that? Sorry, my this is a machine I don't use very often, and I think my my setup is a bit messed up. <clears throat> okay. Great. Got got the hello world going. And I've got it running in Tmux here, so I shouldn't need to, you know, have to worry about making it start and all that sort of stuff and managing the process. I'm not going to talk about that because that's a whole lot of kettle of fish in itself. So I'm going to figure out what my IP is again. So this is my sort of home IP. Please don't uh, attack me. And let's put it into my into a domain name. I'm using Cloudflare here. Truth be told, Cloudflare is cheaper than uh, Route 53. That's why I use it. And I'm going to say I'm going to call this uh, what I'm going to call this uh, YouTube Home or something like this. And no need for that. So I've created an A record. So now YouTube home dot .com points to my home IP. So now we need a way of getting that incoming connection onto that service here. And the way that I do it is that I set up my Microtech router to send things to this machine running Caddy, the same machine actually, just to make it a little bit easier. Now we need to set up Caddy to dispatch that thing. So what, what did I call it? YouTube Home. Okay, all right. Okie dokie. Um, I think I have another window open here. Yeah. I've already wrote in the config earlier, but I just need to edit it. And uh, YouTube Home, it's working, great. So what have I shown you? How to set up a, a web server from your home connection. Um, and I've glossed over huge complexities as of getting it running, um, you know, logging, and I'm relying heavily on Caddy uh, to do it and my previous router configuration, all, all kind of quite tricky stuff. So let me try and show you quickly how to get this running on the AWS cloud. And the beautiful thing is that it's, it's really cheap and reliable and fast to do it this way. So let's, uh, let's do that. Let me show you how you do that quickly. I'm going to, oh, I haven't thought about this too hard. Okay. Um, okay, actually I'm gonna copy this onto my local machine. Let's just make my life a little bit easier. Uh, 
Do, 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 do. Do, do. Okay, there we go. Actually, strictly speaking, I should probably create uh, uh, example.com, YouTube, whatever. Doesn't complain. Okay, so we want to get this running on, on Lambda. How do we do that? Well, the tricky thing is that Lambda doesn't quite have a HTTP request response model in the sense that the, the API has to be sort of remapped. So let me steal some code from some other place and fix it up. Boop, doo -doo -doo -doo. Hopefully I can make this edit exciting because it's kind of boring if you're just watching this, right? I kind of done it before a few times in different projects, but this is where I recently did it. So this is this is the thing that you need. This this one here. This is the magic sauce. Um, I think it like Express Lambda or something has a. There's different things in different languages, and then you need something like this to so to differentiate between whether you're on AWS or or you're local. Okay. So let me just uh, plop that in. That's fine. Okay, let's see if this works. Okay, I am kind of over engineering it because I want to make sure it works locally before I pump it up, up to um, the cloud. Okay, so it's working. Now I need to set up my profile so that it can set it up. And this stuff might look like it's cheating to you, but I'm just going to steal some of my make files to upload it using AWS SAM. And what else do I need? Probably need a template, don't I? Now the good thing about using uh, AWS is that the certificate stuff is all managed for you for free, just like Caddy. Um, it's slightly different. You have to like set up uh, like a wildcard domain and that's what I've done here earlier with my debase.com. And uh, the rest of the stuff you can just kind of ignore. For, for uh, Go, I choose this makefile way of building so that I have extra control, but I don't really need it to be honest. Now let's have a look at the template. Template is uh, basically saying that I'm setting up that domain name with that particular certificate that I, I feed in as a parameter. Uh, I think I call my binary hello. Doesn't really matter, I can just leave it at this, I'm pretty sure. Okay, I think that's all looking good. I dropped in the things, didn't really need to change much except the domain name. And let's just deploy. What's going on here? Oh, already exists in the stack. Uh, type error, then you kind of need to log in and fix it. Let me show you how that's done. This might come up in truth. I'm not going to hide anything away from you. But once you've passed all this, this bureaucracy, it is very nice indeed. Okay, so, um, whoa, delete. I think there's a way to prevent it to, um, roll back, but I don't use that option. Okay, let's try that again. Yeah, disable Robux should be true. Note to oneself. Okay, so the initially, I mean, what makes everything is a bit slow is CloudFormation, but once CloudFormation is in place, upload, uploading your, your changed binary should be m much, much faster.
theoretically. Okay, it's creating a role. You know, you might need permission scope to this thing. I'll save that for another time. Just the way the cloud works, you have roles. Okay, this is looking good. Give us some time, patience. Patience. Yeah, not long now. Not long now. Oh God, what's it doing now? Okay, so it looks like it's up and running. And this is the domain I set it up, but I need to get the domain name from AWS. And the way I do that is I go to API Gateway, and then I go custom domain names, and then I look here, and then I grab this thing. Okay, so, yeah. okay, 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 got to add a record. This one's a C name. It's that thing there, doesn't need to be proxied. Okay, that's should work, hopefully. Okay, let's try. Hello YouTube. Okay, now that's running up on Lambda. That's how you get it running. Think, I showed you my, my local one, which is just to be honest, unsustainable. I mean, this is now effectively managed by AWS. I don't really have to do anything now. It's going to be great. And the greatest thing about it is that unlike doing it traditionally, like renting a server, um, my the cost for running this is just negligible. Let me assure you, I'm running quite a bit of Lambda and you can see my costing here. It's nothing. I don't understand how people can say it's ex extreme levels of complexity, overly costly. And then another comment was like saying, what about the vendor lock-in? I mean, there's no vendor lock-in. Just use HTTP as, I, as I've been doing here. Just use a simple, um, like, what do you call it? Remapping thing. And it works just beautifully. I hope that helped you. I hope that, that non-speed run of getting... Uh, your Go web server running on, on Lambda helped you. Comments below. Thank you for getting this far. Bye.